in this topic we are going to talk about the relationship of cross cultural training and assignment performance uh, you know that uh, basically our basic objective of training is that expatriates when they are sent to other locations they are able to perform well and uh, cultural awareness training is provided um, because we want them to perf to perform well on the assignments and because the cultural differences are high when you are going on international assignments therefore the importance of cross cultural awareness training programs is very much high but basically our objective is that people should be able to perform uh, so um, we have looked at different models of training we have looked at uh, tongs model then we have looked at black and mendel hall's model uh, later on other modifications have been made in uh, these models so that we can arrive at an approach which can tell us how people are going to uh, they are going to perform uh so that is uh, something which is related to a person's motivation as well as that person's ability to learn so the theory of social learning has been incorporated in the models that are provided for uh, particular training methods so the social learning theory has got elements of attention retention and uh, reproduction of the uh, behaviors uh when that is incorporated in uh, the previous models which we have discussed then we arrive at uh, conclusions regarding how people are going to perform well uh in uh, these expatriate assignments so it is a uh, uh, let's take a look at the model which has been designed to uh, actually arrive at uh, the factors which lead to good performance on expatriate assignment okay so let's take a look at the model you can see that this is quite a complex model and obviously performance is a matter is a function of complex dynamics it is something which is related to cultural awareness training which you can see that it is existing on the left hand side of the model but there are so many other factors which influence a person's performance and adjustment so you can see that on the extreme left is cultural awareness training and on the extreme right it's adjustment and performance but there are so many other interlinking factors which actually um affect how cultural awareness training can lead to adjustment and performance so number 1 what can affect cultural awareness training is the contextual and the situational factors and these contextual and situational factors include the time available aapke paas kitna time hai training dene ka then duration and nature aapke paas kitna aap kitni der ke liye training dilwate hain aur kis nature ki training dilwate hain and then cultural toughness uh, cultural toughness ka concept jo hai wo hum pichle topics mein discuss kar chuke hain that you can refer to that this is something which is then going to affect cultural awareness training now contextual factors are then also related uh, with individual differences individual differences between pe uh, person to person people differ from uh, from each other on basis of different way uh, on the basis of various different uh, factors uh, so individual differences they would affect how a person is able to get trained and is able to get motivated for applying the training so individual differences could include the locus of control it could include efficacy expectations it could include outcome expectations and these things are going to then lead to motivation which you can see is standing at the center of the diagram so it could lead to uh, motivation uh, motivation then is going to affect how much attention do you give to the uh, cultural train uh, awareness training if you are motivated because of your uh, strong locus of control strong efficacy strong expectation of outcomes jaise agar aapko lagta hai ki aapko training ka bahut fayda hoga to aap motivated feel karenge motivated feel karenge to aap cultural awareness training program ke andar jo bhi aapko material provide kiya ja raha hai ya aapko jo bhi exercise karwai ja rahi hai aap uski taraf attention direct karenge jab aap attention direct karenge 
तो देन अटेंशन वुड लीड टू रिटेंशन रिटेंशन भी जो है वो आपकी मोटिवेशन पे डिपेंड करता है कि आप उसको कितनी देर रिटेन कर सकते हैं बिकॉज मोटिवेशन इज समथिंग विच इज गोइंग टू डिफाइन दैट ओके आई वॉन्ट टू लर्न एंड रिटेन वट हैज बीन टोल्ड टू मी एंड देन अगेन रिटेंशन इज गोइंग टू देन लीड टू रिप्रोडक्शन वैन यू रिटेन वर्थ द इंफॉर्मेशन विच इज गिवन टू यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर गिवन एन एक्सरसाइज ऑफ रोल प्ले एंड यू आर यू आर यू बिलोंग टू एन अमेरिकन कल्चर एंड यू आर गिवन अ रोल प्ले ऑफ अ जैपनीज कल्चर और आप रोल प्ले करते हैं और उसके बाद आपको भूल जाता है कि आपने जैपनीज कल्चर के कौन सी बिहेवियर्स को जो है वो रिप्रजेंट किया था तो फिर रिप्रोडक्शन नहीं हो रही रिटेंशन नहीं हो रही so um uh, retention and then reproduction is something which is going to lead to uh skill development you can see that from reproduction there is isn't a direct link between adjustment and performance the path of reproduction of behaviors that are learned in the cultural awareness training that leads to skill development so if skill development happens after cultural awareness training your skill is improved your self di- dimension your relational skills your perceptual skills they are improved then uh, if you apply those skills to your situation then you will be able to adjust and then be able to perform on the expatriate assignment now coming down to this uh, diagram you can see that incentives also play a very important role if proper incentives are given to you regarding the cultural awareness training or the incentive which is inherent in the international assignment if there is an incentive then you will retain what is given to you in the cultural awareness training program but if there is not an incentive if you don't feel that it is something which is going to lead to your career development or it is going to lead to some skill enhancement then you will not retain what has been told to you or what you have played or what you have exercised and incentives are something which are drawn from your performance management systems and performance management system of your organization is a vital and key variable in determining how you manage the performance of people whether they are um, they are hired for domestic assignments or they are hired for the international assignment so for the international assignments as well your performance management system is the center of uh, the activities which happen uh, in order to manage the performance of people working in your organization so um this is a holistic uh an overarching model which this def- uh, which defines all the possible factors which could um affect inter uh, which could intervene which could moderate or mediate the relationship between cultural awareness training and the performance of a person it's not just a linear relationship it's not just going to happen uh in a linear way that okay you have provided cultural awareness training then a person is going to perform well uh it is going to be moderated and mediated by all these variables by all these factors which if are in line are and are provided at the right time and the right place then these training programs will lead to performance and adjustment in the expatriate international assignment so this is the model which discusses about all these factors of cultural awareness training and how people will perform on an international assignment